I've got 450 grams of quick pastry which I made uh, yesterday 150 grams of grated mature cheddar 300 grams of uh, charlotte potatoes which I've uh, scrubbed and taken the eyes out 100 grams of very finely chopped onion a beaten egg teaspoonful of English mustard powder and salt and pepper and some plain flour for rolling so I'm making cheese and onion pasties today I've got a pan of water on lightly salted for the potatoes so I'm just going to show you how I chop them up for pasties so you can use all potatoes if you want but these are the, just some of the potatoes that were part of my 20 pound shop so I'm cutting them into chips first and then I'm going to cut them into thin slices they need, they need to be about the thickness of a, a 10 pence piece not as thick as a pound coin So what I'm going to do is um, when I've chopped them all up plunge them into the boiling salted water and bring them back to the boil then just boil them for one minute then drain them off and that way they'll be ready to well once they've cooled down a little bit they'll be ready to be mixed with the rest of the pasty ingredients So that's about the thickness. So they need to be partly cooked. So the potatoes are all chopped up now so I'm just going to tip them into the boiling water and blanch them for one minute. So the potatoes have been blanched, drained and cooled. So next thing to do is to mix everything together. So pop in the cheese. This this amount should make six pasties. The onion. mustard and then we need lots of salt and pepper so I'm using white pepper and a good old sprinkling of salt so we're ready to mix. Seems about right. So we need some plain flour for rolling. So when I made the pastry, I, I cut it into ten pieces. Um, I'm using two of those pieces today to make six pasties. But when the one that you're not 
using straight away leave it in the fridge until you're ready for it because this pastry needs to be rolled more or less straight from the fridge or it gets too soft so you brush around the edge with beaten egg I'll do another one. We don't need to show you how I do all six, as I'm sure you'll soon pick it up. The trick is to get your pastry into as round a shape as possible before you start rolling it. Sorry about that. It's my dinky work area. So we're going to bake these at um, gas 6, 200 centigrade, 400 Fahrenheit. And they take about half an hour. So I've got a spoonful of mixture in the centre. And then you pull the edges up together pinch them so that they stick then you crimp them by rolling the edges over into a sort of a rope pattern can you see that? no you can't there that's better Then you tuck the edge under and do one more. Just move the camera so that you get a better view. So pinch the edges together So we finger and thumb roll Tuck the edge underneath. That's called crimping. That's what they do with the pasties in Cornwall. So I'll carry on, make the other four, and then I'll show you what we do next. I'll just show you the last crimp. Roll, 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 roll. And took the last one under. I hope that's clear. So I've got the oven hot ready to put these in. I've lined the tray with parchment. It's got to be parchment, it can't be foil or greaseproof paper because they stick. And if it they stick, it ruins your pasties. 
So you brush them all over with beaten egg. Then halfway through the cooking time, take them out, turn the tray around and brush them again with the um, beaten egg. And that gives them a beautiful shine. I call it double glazing. So when the pasties are cooked, I'm going to serve them up with jacket wedges and baked beans. So there they're going straight in the oven now for half an hour. So there we, we are. Six cheese and onion pasties. Absolutely delicious. Can't wait to tuck into these. I'll just have one if I can stick to one. But there you go, I'm going to serve them up with jacket wedges and baked beans. Um, well worth the effort, I can assure you. So if you'd like to learn how to make these delicious pasties, um, go to my website www.onceaweekkitchen.co.uk and I'll be uploading the recipe onto there and with a photo. Um, also you can purchase my ebook 28 meals for £20 that's only 99p so it won't break the bank and also the once a week cookbook which teaches you how to cook in bulk freeze some of your food and always be able to feed your family uh, cheaply so go on treat yourself you know you want to see you later bye